In part three of the series where we discuss hybridization and bonding scheme, we have three more examples. And for question number one, we have to use the valence bond theory to write a hybridization and bonding scheme for ethene, and it has the chemical formula shown on your screen. So just as before, I want to start with a Lewis structure. We have a CH2 and a CH2 double bonded, and that looks like this. A carbon single bonded to two hydrogens, and that's double bonded to another carbon and the rest looks like this. So far we have used one, two, three, four, five, six, six times two, 12 electrons. These two carbons have four valence electrons and each of these hydrogens have one that makes up 12. So what you see on your screen is technically the Lewis structure for this molecule. We have two central atoms, this carbon and this carbon, and the total number of electron groups for this carbon are one, two, three, three electron groups, and the same thing for this one. That's important because if you have three electron groups, you form a trigonal planar. So there's a trigonal planar formation between this atom, this atom, and that atom for this carbon, and the same thing for that one. Therefore, the hybridization of this carbon is sp2, and the hybridization for this one is sp2. The orbital that contains the electron surrounding hydrogen faces directly towards the carbon. So we have an orbital here and an orbital here facing towards each other. Therefore, we have a sigma bond formed here. And similarly, a sigma bond here, here, and here. On the other hand, we have one sigma bond between these two carbons. So that orbital and that orbital within this bond, for example, are facing towards each other. And the other orbital that holds the other electron for both of these carbons are parallel to each other. So they are on the same axes except on different atoms. And because they're parallel, they'll form a pi bond. So we have, let's say, a sigma bond and a pi bond between the two carbons. A visual of this with the orbitals is shown on your screen. In question number two, we have to use the same valence bond theory to write a hybridization, this time for carbon dioxide. Let's begin with a quick Lewis structure. So we have carbon as the central atom, single bonded to an oxygen and another oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons, six times two is 12, plus four of this carbon, that makes 16. We've already used up four, and therefore we have 12 more, which we will share along the peripheral atoms. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That doesn't have a complete octet, so we'll move this electron and this pair of electrons to form a double bond. So we have oxygen, double bonded to carbon, don't forget the electrons, and this one is also double bonded to that carbon. That is the Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. Now we need to find out the total number of electron groups around this carbon. We have one, two, two bonding groups, no lone pairs, two plus zero is equal to two, so we are dealing with SP hybridization scheme. So that's SP and that's SP. Given what we discussed in the previous example and in part two, this double bond will consist of one sigma bond and one pi bond. So that's a sigma bond and that's a pi bond and the same thing goes with the other side of this molecule. So that's sigma and that's pi. Remember, with sigma bonds, the orbitals of the two atoms are facing directly towards each other, whereas in a pi bond, they're on the same axes but far away from each other, therefore forming a parallel bond. Pi bonds are generally weaker, therefore, than sigma bonds. A better visual of this is shown on your screen. In question number three, we have to find the hybridization of the central iodine atom, I3 negative. So we have a negative ion here, an anion, and it consists of three iodine atoms. Let's begin with the Lewis structure. The Lewis structure will look like this, where we have iodine bonded to iodine, bonded to the third one, We've already used the four electrons, and the valence of iodine is seven. Seven times three is 21, plus an extra electron that makes 22. 22 minus four is 18, so we have 18 electrons to spread around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another six here, that makes 12, and six more, which will go around the central iodine. So we have three lone pairs around this iodine, and two bonding groups, one, two. Add that up, that's five. According to this, we are dealing with a trigonal bipyramidal 
and its hybridization scheme is sp3d sp3d so that's sp3d and so is that of course these are its orbitals and that's why we have this shape that would be one orbital the other and the third and this orbital and that orbital would be facing directly towards the orbitals of the other two iodine atoms so just picture them here and here and there you have it three more examples on how to find the hybridization and bonding scheme of molecules